Good morning, this is B.N. Avish, I'm a retired additional secretary, Team IS Network. So today we do a unit on environment. As I said earlier, Gen Studies 3 contains the following units. Agriculture, Economy, Science, Technology, Environment, Internal Security and Disaster Management. The unit on environment, science and technology is getting a consistent 65 to 70 marks every year as we have seen from the previous papers. Before we go into the topic of discussion, I would like to point out the similarities or the commonalities in preparation between the prelims and the mains. This I have not spoken earlier. So th this is very, it's a very important stage in preparation see when you are preparing for the preliminary i concentrate my talk to the topic which we are discussing environment now environment is a issue in the preliminary environment is also there in the main exam and it is not that you prepare separately for the prelim and you prepare separately for the main in preliminary you are Having a knowledge of the concepts in the mains, you are applying those concepts in 150 to 200 words. This is the difference. So as you prepare for the preliminary, you note down points, so this will become easy for you. And as I said earlier in a, in a discussion on GS3, the best information, best source for environment for the prelims is the annual report of the Ministry of Environment and Forests. It is also good for the mains. So you go when going through the annual report of the MOF, you see the mention of important acts, description of the acts, important bodies associated with the wildlife protection, important acts. Then you also see the steps towards environmental awareness. So this is a very comprehensive book. I suggest you both use you utilize this book for the prelim. It is also going to help you for the main exam. With this introduction, we go to the question on discussion. If there is a conflict between health and wealth, the larger public interest, that is health, must outweigh the pecuniary interests of the industries. So in this what we are trying to emphasize in our answer would be what the examiner wants to know from you is what is this conflict between health and wealth which should prevail? The question says health shall outweigh the benefits or interests of the industry. So it is in this background we speak of the transition from BS4 to BS6. In 2016, the government of India decided to skip BS5 and move directly from BS4 to BS6 as far as emission standards are concerned. What were the reasons for this transition? So this is an important part of the answer because you should know why this transition took place. First, increasing levels of pollution in major cities of India, which prompted the policymakers to act fast the second one, environmental concerns. Obviously, the NGOs and the other organizations fighting for clean environment, the role of the National Green Tribunal. And uh, this is the second factor which prompted the policymakers to speak of a transition from BS4 to BS6. The third important factor would be India's commitment to reverse global climatic change so three factors prompted the transition from bs4 to bs6 the first one increasing pollution second environmental concerns third india's commitment to reverse global climatic change so these are the three things you must emphasize in your answer in the introduction because you should show that you are aware of the transition from BS4 to BS6 and why this transition. The second part of the answer would be what are the benefits 
in going in having this transition on road vehicles will gain from clean fuels drastic reduction in fuels in uh, fuel sulfuric to 10 ppm from the road fleet cuts emissions from on road vehicles reduce engine wear and tear now the emission limits of petrol and diesel car diesel cars different standards were there now that will narrow so what is the obligation on the auto companies auto companies have to use effective diesel particulate matter then specifications on board diagnostic systems that record details of vehicle performance for monitoring are made more stringent these are the benefits in the taking the transition from bs4 to bs6 now you see you when after you discuss the benefits you go to the background of the supreme court order the supreme court said from 1 4 2020 there cannot be registration of any vehicles either two wheeler three wheeler or four wheeler unless they are bs6 compliant now what has happened as a result of this ruling and as a result of the government of india decision to go in from bs4 to bs6 there has been an increase in the price of vehicles say 30 to 40 percent and also the problem of the old bs4 vehicles lying unsold another implication would be how the fuel companies have to make their fuel how they have to make it make the fuel bs6 compliant so these are the major benefits and these are the major impacts on the different stakeholders that is the oil companies on the auto or oil companies and the auto companies now we come to the how the supreme court has played a major part in this transition first thing would be you take the basic impetus given by the Supreme Court for a clean environment. Article 21. Article 21 relating to life and liberty. Article 21 says no individual can be deprived of his right to life and liberty except according to procedure established by law. So this right to life and liberty does not mean right to physical life and liberty the Supreme Court said it also means right to clean environment. So this judgment of the Supreme Court came as a boost to promoting the uh, clean environment. Added to this was the activity, the campaigns launched by the environmentalists and uh, the subsequent establishment of the National Green Tribunal. All this you have to write in the answer. So this when you that this we can elaborate in this point under article 21 what are the implications then what happened was when the supreme court order came that fresh vehicles cannot be registered unless they are bs6 compliant now the auto companies were having the huge unsold stock of bs4 vehicles so the auto companies and the government came to the Supreme Court in appeal. They said, what are we going to do if we cannot enforce the directions from 1420? Then the Supreme Court, after hearing both the sides, said, if there is a conflict between health and wealth, the health and wealth, that is, if I am choosing between environmental concerns and I am choosing between the profit motive of the manufacturers, I will give priority to the public health factor. So the, this is the judgment of the Supreme Court, which clearly says in a conflict between health and wealth, the larger public interest, that is health, shall outweigh the pecuniary interests of the industry. Now, the, you take the example of China. See, China has done a remarkable job in implementing this 
transition bs6 norms and uh, the mantra of bs6 regulations is strict compliance so a similar thing has to be followed even in india that is strict compliance unless there is strict compliance we may not be able to achieve anything so uh, for a discussion on the transition from bs4 to bs6 we spoke of the objectives behind this transition how this help policy makers take a quick decision then we spoke of the benefits then one part of the answer we highlighted the role of the supreme court article 21 which said how it is uh, the right of every individual to have a clean environment we spoke of the activists environmental activists we spoke of the national green tribunal then we also spoke of the hearing in the supreme court wherein there is a demand by the auto companies and by the government to extend the deadline beyond 1420 because of the huge unsold stocks of old bs4 vehicles the supreme court came about very clearly in favor of health by noting that in a conflict between health and wealth the larger public interest will outweigh the pecuniary interests of the industry finally we also gave the example of china which has done remarkable work in this regard by insisting on strict compliance so strict compliance is the mantra of bs6 regulations so as i said earlier gs3 a beautiful website is available down to earth.org i suggest you go through that that will help you prepare for environment in a better manner and uh, since you are getting 70 to 75 marks every year in this part of general studies and uh, the questions are asked only on the dynamic part of environment that is the current environmental issues see the reason why the questions are based on the current environmental issues is because a government servant is expected to know the issues facing the environment is expected to know the issues which are which the public are facing the country is facing so that he can be better equipped when he becomes a policy maker when he come when he is when he is asked or tasked with the policy of implementing implementing government policy so this is the main reason why environment has been included as a separate unit in the prelims in paper 1 and as a may as a sub, as a unit of gs3 for the mains so once again before we conclude the discussion on this particular topic of environment what i would like to suggest is please go about with a holistic approach for preparation say so for instance when you are preparing for current events of national and international importance for the prelim you also remember that current events national and international importance comes again in the ranking essay ranking essay 125 marks out of 250 you have essay for current events then again when you are reading for current events the uh, national and international importance you try to read more for the international part of current events because you are again preparing for general studies paper 2 mains there is a unit on international relations so this is the subject is interlinked prelim and mains are interlinked and as i said earlier selection to the civil services it is not so much of hard work as smart work so we will talk more on the method of preparation when we analyze the topics in the coming sessions thank you